We've seen a new king crowned in Saudi Arabia, and it's sometimes hard just looking at the TV to understand why we should care about this. Is it just about the oil? Maybe it is. But there's actually a great story here. The royal family of Saudi Arabia consists of the sons of Abdul Aziz ibn Saud, who almost single-handedly rebuilt the ancient Saudi kingdom in the early 20th century. The chief Saudi export at this point wasn't oil, that would come later, but rather the Sword of Islam, which ibn Saud used first to rid the Arabian Peninsula of the colonial rulers, Ottoman Turks, and roving Bedouin gangs that had been terrorizing it and then to bring a new unity and prosperity to its people, mainly using the Islam part, although the sword was there too. Now, of course, in the 1950s, oil would be discovered, and the ridiculous wealth that this brought would forever change Saudi Arabia and shield it from much of the need to modernize its attitudes toward human rights, women's rights, and that's all true. But if you're thinking of human rights, it's also important to consider the alternatives, and imagine what lovely fate might have awaited the Arabian Peninsula had Abdul Aziz not come along when he did. To ask yourself which other of that region's kind souls would today be laying claim to all that oil and all those people.